Hi there, my name is Ron Rogers, and this presentation is titled Test Pilots Were More Expendable Back in the 50s. They were also a lot cheaper back then. Now, we were at a site experimental test pilot symposium out in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, that's a picture of me and my wife and uh, David Hartman, actually. I, I, I was uh, getting an award um, at a, uh, a later one, but this is a good picture I have of us. And, uh, you know, that guy, he doesn't have gray hair and, uh, he looks a lot younger than I do now. But anyway, we're out at the symposium. My wife is out there and we're, we're attending, uh, some of the major events and the, uh, room we we're staying in the hotel, there was a gentleman who had the room next to us and we would see each other kind of coming and going, a older gentleman, nice guy, you know, almost looked like a high school principal or something like that. Like a lot of the test pilots did. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, they don't look like uh, crews that much, but anyway, um, we would say hi to him. And, um, in these symposiums, they have a Saturday morning. Now this was back in the late nineties and I tried going to the uh, SCTP site experimental test pilot website. Uh, this is ancient history. They don't have any of the stuff that far back. And, uh, so I don't remember the gentleman's name and I couldn't even find it on Wikipedia or, or that, but, um, he was, uh, he was a very interesting, uh, gentleman. And when Saturday morning came, he did this presentation and this presentation, it was about a test program where they put F 100s on this little mounting device and they put a rocket motor under it. And I mean, this isn't JADO, not jet assisted. This, this thing launches you from a dead start. This is what this guy test flew. All right. Well, it's kind of interesting. It was, it was quite a presentation, I'll tell you. And of course, um, most of the ones on Saturday morning are just kind of the old guys telling you fun tales. Uh, they're not, they weren't recorded at the time and there usually isn't a paper. So it's information that unfortunately is kind of lost. And that is really sad. Because he does the presentation, he talks about this thing. And what, the, what they did when they started testing this, they would have a I-beam frame that was supposed to kind of mimic the uh, aircraft. It had a I-beam going out for the wings and then a center I-beam and then a little I-beam for the tail. And they'd put the rocket motor on that and they'd fire the thing off. And um, the test pilot was talking to the engineer and he said... Uh, uh, do you have any, uh, uh, film of, you know, your, your test, uh, flights with this thing using the mock-up? And he says, oh, you don't want to see those. And he, he goes, why? He says, oh, the engines exploded all over the place. You don't want to see that. And he goes, well, that gives me a lot of confidence. Well, the guy did these missions and of course he's still, he's still alive there. And I guess they put all those nice little drawings on the bottom of the aircraft. So when it explodes, you can try to put the pieces back together. But can you imagine what this had to be like? Um, talk about a sudden acceleration. This thing would fire, um, it would get going, and then the, the rocket motor would drop off. And there was actually uh, one of the test missions he described, the, uh, the rocket motor didn't drop off. And I guess there was no way successfully landing this thing with it attached, so he had to punch out of the aircraft. And unfortunately, it was not a good day uh, out at Edwards, and he got drug on the uh, lake bed a little bit. Um, but anyway, he did successfully survive and punch out of it. Now, when I was looking for pictures of this, look at this thing. This is an F-104. I flew the F-104. It doesn't virtually have a wing. Thank goodness this has German markings on it, because I'd hope, you know, any of our U.S. test pilots, you know, no, no, Germans, you know, the guys were crazy if they would uh, take an F-104 up on this thing, because think how fast you had to get to go to get enough lift off of that wing to get you flying. But, uh, I don't know that we ever tested it, but apparently uh, they did. Of course, uh, with a NATO situation there, sometimes they didn't have the best airfields. They needed to mount an interceptor close, so uh, God bless them. Uh, I don't think I would want to ride that. But anyway, the uh, the mission, uh, the test mission concluded, and they decided that, well, you could do this. I don't think it ever went into large-scale production of any sort, but... Uh, it was an interesting test mission, and it just goes to show you, like he said, the uh, the early test pilots were much more expendable, because I doubt if you can get a program like this probably approved today. I think it would be just a little too dangerous. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of secondhand related history there. Thanks for watching.